like it, like you mentioned, a lot of our homeowners come from different parts of the country. Are there other um, maintenance items that, or or inspection items that you know that people that are that are visitors from other parts of the country might not be familiar with? Well, one thing I've experienced is up north. People talk about whole house guttering, and up north, I, I have lived up north, and, and as I, I recall, most homes had gutter, and it was all the way around home. Down here, uh, whether it, whether the reason is architects don't like gutter, or whatever the reason is, a lot of homes, A, either have no gutter, or they have very little gutter. Uh, my take on that over the years I've been doing inspections is that most homes are going to need some gutter. Uh, you may not need the whole house gutter, like up north, but in terms of wood rot and controlling that moisture coming off a roof, uh, most homes really do need to have some gutter. Mm -hmm. So uh, that would be one issue that, that I've seen over the years. And what about when people leave their home? Like, we've talked about heating and air conditioning. Are there other things? Do you advise them to turn off their hot water heater? You know, what other items, if someone's going to leave their home, what other items would you advise them to take care of? Well, usually I recommend that they turn the water off. Uh, and when they do that, they want to turn their ice maker off so that the ice maker motor doesn't burn out, uh, trying to make ice when there is no water. Uh, I recommend that they turn the water heater off, the power to the water heater. And uh, so things like that need to be uh, to be done. Well, that's an issue we have that's, that's particular to our area, since we do have a lot of humidity in our area. A lot of people are coming from areas where they're not uh, familiar with humidity and how it can impact a home. Uh, one of the things that I always recommend is that once people buy a home and are living down here, when they leave for a summer vacation, a lot of people think that they can turn the thermostat up to 85 degrees and they're saving money. And they may be saving money, but in the long run, uh, they run a high risk of inviting mold into the home. And once mold takes hold, it, it runs rampant rather quickly. So what I always recommend is 78 or below uh, to set that thermostat at when uh, it's in the cooling season. And what about the heating season? How low can they Heating get? season, I say about 60, 65 degrees. And, and again, people think they're saving money by cranking it way down. But what you're going to notice is that home is going to acclimate. And in the process of acclimating to the temperature, you may start to see cracks in walls and, and uh, different intersections of walls and ceilings. And wonder why that's happening. Well, that's, that's your home adjusting to those temperature extremes. So the, the less extremes of temperature your home has, the better off it is.